So you've just built a PC for the very first time. Congrats, the hard part is over. Now you get to reap the rewards of your labor and enjoy spending time with the hunk of metal you spent all your mother's hard earned money on. But what do you do now? Where do you start? The possibilities are endless, but what possibility do you pursue first? Well, wipe those sweaty palms, my friend, because today I, your very best friend Michael from Thermaltake Australia, am going to suggest what I think are the absolute must-have programs and software for your brand new PC. Setup. Not only will all this stuff make for a smooth, practical, and handy dandy user experience, but almost everything listed here is also absolutely free. But before we do any of that, you should take it upon yourself first to install Windows and download all the necessary drivers so that everything is displayed at the correct resolution and so that you're getting the most out of your new monitor. You know, a GeForce experience if you have an Nvidia graphics card and all that good stuff. Once that's done, we should have a nice clean slate to begin installing a few things on our shiny new operating system. Now, the very first program I always make sure to install foremost is a new browser. Uh, no offense, Microsoft Explorer or Edge or whatever you're called now. Uh, I'm a Firefox boy personally, but pick your fave as this will let you download all our other programs a lot more efficiently. While you're still here, you should also install all your favorite browser extensions and import your bookmarks too. Once complete, we're now officially ready to begin fortifying our PC against those pesky viruses. Safety. As we always preach here at Thermaltake Australia, safety first. Why are you running? Before we can get to the fun programs, as boring as it is, we need to ensure our PC is safeguarded against viruses and malware. We highly recommend using protection here at Thermaltake because trust me, you don't want to be raw dogging on the internet as you could end up with all kinds of infections. So be sure to download your preferred VPN of choice. There's a bunch out there, so a bit of research won't hurt and you'll find that the best ones are a bit pricey, but I think they're well worth the investment to protect your IP address online. Also, if you want to be extra safe, you can download some antivirus software too to tip you off when you download free Battlefield 2042, I swear this is real.exe. I would also like to suggest the free program Flux here, although it helps protect you physically rather than cybernetically. It's a program that gradually dims your screen with orange light at whatever time you set it to, so the blue light doesn't destroy your eyeballs in the wee hours of the morning. Not only is it a cheaper option than those orange glasses that do the same thing, but you're also a lot less likely to get beaten up using this. So that's it for safety, let's say we hop on over to our practical programs. Practical. Here in this portion of the video, I'd like to recommend a bunch of programs that will assist you in opening and editing file types. With all of these, you should be able to utilize just about every file type imaginable. First off, there's 7-Zip and WinRAR. They kind of do the same thing, but I suppose it doesn't hurt to have both if you can spare the space. These programs are powerful compression and archiving tools that significantly reduce your file sizes. While it's not something you'll be doing too often yourself, they are super handy in letting you open and extract chunky files downloaded from the internet, as most files over one gig are uploaded in a compressed format. Just make sure to eventually pay for that WinRAR subscription. And then it has insert crowd laugh, so you can put that in. Is that a gag that everyone gets? Yes. Yeah, okay. Next up, we have what I consider the king of video programs, VLC. This thing can kind of do it all, and it opens just about any video file type, so it's a must-have for someone who often watches media on their desktop. I also think this program goes hand in hand with both Handbrake and 4K Video Downloader. The first lets you chop, change, and alter the file types of videos while significantly reducing their file size, while the latter assists you in downloading video and audio off of YouTube. All of these combined together means you can download, alter, and view just about any video file type at the drop of a hat, and their convenience cannot be understated. Without further ado though, let's say we now continue with some neat programs to help improve your PC's performance. 
The first is Sea Cleaner, which does exactly what it sounds like it does. It cleans the unnecessary gunky files from your PC to reduce clutter. The unwanted stuff left behind from like Microsoft Edge and Adobe Acrobat that you wouldn't know where to start when trying to hunt down these storage hoarding files yourself. In fact, if you are curious about your system information and diagnostics, HW Info is a great program that gives you ultra detailed reports, analysis, and real-time system monitoring regarding everything within your PC from temps to speeds. And speaking of speeds, for those interested in overclocking but are spooked by your PC's BIOS screen, we also recommend ASUS GPU Tweak 2. It assists you in overclocking your PC safely and even works with non-ASUS branded cards as well. With that, let's head on over and check out some programs for gaming. Obviously, the first thing you'll want to do is download all of the clients you run your games through, whether that be Steam, Origin, Epic Games, GOG Galaxy, or whatever else they have now. To play with friends and involve yourself in a lot of these games' communities, downloading Discord is also a handy way to stay connected while you play. I heard the uh, Thermaltake Australia Discord was particularly popping, so you should definitely join that, I don't know. Anyway, but for those who enjoy recording their gameplay or have an interest in streaming, you'll also want to download OBS, as it's the all-in-one screen recording software with a staggering amount of options and variation for users. If you've ever watched a stream and admired its production values, chances are they utilize OBS. Lastly, with that, let's get onto some programs for you creatives. Creative and professional. One of my favorite programs in this list is Paint.net, a free drawing slash editing software that's like the perfect middleman between Microsoft Paint and Photoshop. Even though I have access and use Photoshop here in the office, I can't tell you how many times I'll pop into paint.net for a second to quickly edit something as its user interface is so friendly. I've also heard GIMP is quite similar in that it's great intermediate bit of design software, so pick whichever one floats your boat. GIMP has a dog's face as its logo though, so I guess it's objectively better. For those looking for programs that will assist them in the home office, ShareX is a completely underrated tool for working from home. It's essentially an open source screenshot and screencasting software for Windows, and it makes sharing information with those you're connected to a breeze, offering so many more options to capture, edit, and send the content on your screen than what the default snipping tool does. Finally, the most expensive set of programs on the list, Microsoft Office. If you use your PC for even the smallest bit of business or writing, Office remains the most convenient option despite its price tag. There are a few other free document programs out there if you feel like you'll only need Word though, such as Google Docs, but the whole package comes in pretty handy in our current climate where so many of us are working from home. If this one doesn't apply to you too much though, don't worry about it. Well, that just about wraps up our video here today, you friggin' dingus. <laughs> 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 I hope you got some value out of today's video and found out about a program that sounds like it could help you out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave us a like and comment any programs you think are must-haves down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring-a-ding-dongus that belongus to be notified each <laughs> oh, also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and a ring a ding dongus that belongus to be notified each and every time we upload. And while you're still here, my handsome chap and uh, chapettes, be sure to check out either of these thermal take videos that are floating somewhere above me. And I'll see you next time. I'm sorry about calling you a dingus, by the way. I was in a dark place when I wrote this. Um, I love you all. Only if you subscribe there. The videos are here. The videos are here, actually, not above me. They're... That one's good. That one. Ha <laughs> <laughs>